Hey y'all, welcome to the Mean Charles Show. Today I am going to show you inside my Sigma MP5. Uh, it's hi highly, highly customized. It's uh, basically the whole front end is redone. Um, and this is pretty much stock back here. But yeah, this is the main like customized end. Um, and I also am going to change out a spring just to show you how to change a spring so I get a bit more FPS out of this guy. The customization in here is a off and on switch with a shot counter, um, a toggle light to toggle on full light, or just switch back and forth like a pressure switcher light. Um, then on the other side we got a reset button and we got a voltage meter that will read all your voltages uh, now for the hardware here this is just an M4 polymer grip that's turned upside down and smashed against a three um, three point rail system and this rail system is meant for the SEMA MP5s it had to be heavily milled to fit this though it used to be a plastic grip around it um, and I sh uh, basically cut down the silencer to make it a stubby and added a little mount for cameras and raised up uh, my scope so I can sight but honestly I don't use it that much um, I'm going to take this apart, it might be a bit of a horror show for some people so you know don't drink any liquid when uh, I open this up because you might spit it out okay, so let's go ahead and start taking this thing apart Okay, now now that it's off, here comes the spookiness. Um, you guys might be frightened by it, but here it goes. Oh my god, he cut the rail! Yeah, I did cut the rail. Um, and there's good reason why I cut the rail. Uh, basically, I cut it so that I could fit in a relay switch for my shot counter and the battery a bit more easily um, but yeah that's basically all the guts inside there uh, still a work in progress but it's all liquid taped and soldered together so yeah um, now I'm gonna go ahead and start disassembling the rest of it so the stubby silencer comes straight off I need to screwdriver it I'm kind of doing this all at different increments. This whole thing can be disassembled, just the bottom polymer piece. But yeah, I'm just kind of doing it bit by bit. Okay. So here's the relay switch. This is the thing that basically does this. It basically has a connection that throws uh, electrical current into a switch so it counts one shot at a time. I think I explained this on later videos. You can watch the sh shot counter video if you're interested. There you go. Unplug it from the bullet and then yeah that's basically the lower half. It's got the uh, shot counter, the flashlight, the battery and everything. Um, so that all comes apart. Now we got the main rail system and spooky, 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 spooky. It's all cut. Um, I think it's just because it was meant for the non-silenced version. And there's not, the silenced versions aren't really meant to be modified. It was my bad. I should have bought the unsilenced version. Remember, lay out your uh, your guns accordingly. Just make sure you have enough space to, you know, fit everything in. And um, it wants to come out already. <laughs> it's the spring in there. Uh, yeah, make sure you have enough space and you lay things out uh, because 
the worst thing is if you lose a part and you're you're boned. So don't do this on mom's couch, eating mom's spaghetti. You should uh, you should be a grown up, big boy, have a bench, or at least a bed with a plank of wood on top of it. Okay, anyway, so the rail here. Uh, this was an eBay purchase again. It kind of has some white marks on it from. Uh, I was trying to have a paint job and has some powder residue I haven't wiped off yet. But it basically clips on to the main section down there and then clips on to the main uh, receiver and bolts in. Uh, I just cut this out with a Dremel and it basically, the two screws screw into here for the polymer grip to seed in. And that's basically how my rail system works. Not too much though. Now your main slide for doing your slaps, you know. Now I had to mill this off a bit to fit the rail system. Uh, that's just so it would seed properly against the uh, outer barrel. And you have to mill this down. So now that the front end is dealt with, we're gonna go with the back end. And uh, these guys are super simple to take apart. Really cool. Uh, you basically just pop out these pins, toolless design. And slide off your uh, adjustable stock. And don't forget on the other side, there's a pin, a plastic pin that locks your uh, stock in different positions or along with a spring that puts the pin up. So don't lose those parts or your stock will be floppy. And there you got an extra battery connector and the connector for the shot counter. Um, that's standard on all the guns. I just added the shot counter piece. It kind of just shoves in there. And then the other pin pop out here. And then unplug these guys. All right, so that's basically the top section done, and there's a BB falling out. <laughs> Always make sure your breach is cleared before doing that. But yeah, that's um, in there is basically uh, the charging handle port, and that can come right out, and that basically relieves the reveals the uh, the hop up unit. And this hop up unit is really cool. You just push it back and forth with the charging handle and it will adjust your hop up accordingly. This main spring is for the recoil. Look at that boys. Yeah so that just lets you do the slap slide that's really awesome and fun. Now last the guy who uh, sold me this he's like the inside really looks second hand so I'm about to find out how second hand it looks. Um, I'm not really interested in shimming anything or doing anything crazy to it. Um, I, I'm shooting fine. It shoots fine for me. Or get the motor out of the hand, the pistol grip or the grip. Kind of the rules of a tinkerer is make sure you finish prod projects. I know guys that have tons of guns on the bench, tons of guns of fun uh, on the bench, and they just never fix it. They just keep it there and it breaks. You know what? Try to get some use out of it, or at least sell your stuff. So this is bone stock. That's a bone stock motor right there, boys. Nice to see there's no like brass shavings coming out because the brass shavings um, kind of show signs of wear and tear and uh, if you're over tightening your shit. And I just did the number one no-no is put the motor near something metal. So I'm just gonna put that up top on my shelf. Okay. 
so now I'm gonna unscrew the grip screws. Now to get this grip off, the last step is to remove your selector switch. So what you do is there a little Allen key in there that you gotta loosen and take apart the selector switch. We got her. She's surrendering. Okay. And that will slide right out. I wasn't supposed to do that part yet, dude. Uh, and you can put it back together and just get the old Titan down. Especially if you are going to leave it aside. You don't want to lose pieces. Especially if mom's going to come in with mom's spaghetti and put it on your bed. She might move your shit away. But thankfully, you know, I got my own apartment. Alright, so releasing this. Now, you want to be careful and make sure that you get all your screws out. Oh, I forgot about the other selector button that fits in there. So you want to make sure that you don't miss any of those pieces. So, and kind of keep them in groups so you know bit by bit where shit's going. Okay, and then that's the grip gone. Pew, 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 pew. And to do oh, you're down to the gearbox. Holy shit, we did it! Holy shit, we did it!